It's mm. fun, this movie. It's fun. Yeah. It's it theatrical, fun. it's pretty, it's, you know, it's um, mm. a lot of sort of fairy tale qualities to it, I think, yeah. which is nothing I really associate with Wales. It's sort of, you know... Well, uh, Wales is very, like, mysterious, you know, and it's, <coughs> it's an ancient country with <clears throat> great history and complexity. And I think this kind of movie for Welsh audiences, they can go on that journey, you know, of, of, of feeling like they're on a ride, you know, that they're going to somewhere else, even though that it was filmed in Wales, at times it feels like it could be anywhere in the world. And and I think, you know, the Welsh in particular, they look out quite a lot going, oh, I wish I could reach and touch that. And this film has a lot of that in it. So I It's think, got a yeah. mythical quality, I hope. Yeah. I hope you know, I was very inspired fantasy, by John Borman you know? and people who make these sort of folk magical tales and I feel like yeah it's a way of looking where you live and seeing it with new eyes and going god I do live in a magical mythical yeah. fantastical place hopefully and it, I'm just bringing that out that's already there as yeah. far as I can see it and supporting yeah. you know Welsh filmmaking you know it, 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 you know we're creating a really good place for um, for the industry in Wales at the moment so we should get out and support it Go yeah. to the cinemas. It makes Wales like the hot ticket, basically, like the you know the place that people are going to want to film more, basically, yeah. when they see how beautiful it is on camera. And Adrian, why is more poisic as you are? E Cymru, a hanesheid vaiv, and and Cymru, he can't film your wedding night, and it's not. Well, my Nigal Morgament or say I've Nigal to film your a a cray cinematic experience scene. Plenty of men in in Lule. That that I mean, more than just people who more creative, well, costume designers, they sound technicians, they, you know, camera editor. Um, my more than just people and uh, uh, my own company, he he made quite weak. Ah, to credit my people, my own company, and Roy Popeth, my near quite new, especially about uh, industry, am I? So pre my new Nate in your birth and Tally Nate film, my new Roy Guy Dunno in a new new project. Someone special young good uh in Lucas Good or Cruise week. Uh location's amazing um yeah, that way. I love filming in Wales personally. I to me it's like not on camera enough and it should be because it's so beautiful, so many different diverse sorts of places to film. And um, to me, it just keeps it fresh because for the audience, you do feel like you haven't seen it before. And I think that there are lots of places that get overused, you know, especially around London and uh, some other locations that you feel like I've, I've seen this before. So you get a bit jaded seeing it. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. And we're using Welsh crew and production team and it's always a joy, basically. My family are from... Uh, fish garden have a dress so this is it feels like going home you know so I love it I love to shoot in Wales. It's amazing that um you know we were filming near Abergavenny which is where my granny is from and I, I don't because she grew up in um she was didn't grow up with her family and she um was taken away from her family and so I never had a connection to that part of my family like I've got Irish relatives and uh, so for me, like it does feel quite a home. There's sort of something quite spooky and feels familiar to me about it. Um, and you know, it is a film about reincarnation. So a lot of it is about tracing your identity throughout history and and that kind of thing. And sometimes I'm not really conscious of how much I put of myself into stuff. But um, yeah, I think there's a real magic to Wales. You know, 